Thank you, Mr. Schmidt. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate that last piece because, uh, as uh, anyone knows, I believe that uh, ownership of firearms also implies not a, just a citizen right, but citizen responsibilities. May I ask, where did the template for this particular um, come from, this particular resolution? A number of counties, it's true, across the state of Oregon, it seems, uh, actually largely rural counties, and we're a rural and an urban county. Is there, is there a group out there who is actually providing a template that is going across counties asking for them to do this resolution? And if so, who are they? Well, I think I announced this on Tuesday. I saw this because Lane County was proposing it. <laughs> and I grabbed that. Nobody's ever told me, hey, listen, there's a template here. Use this. Uh, this was grabbed by me and Tootie from Lane County and brought forward, and we made the number four change to that. Thank you for that, Chair. Is this, though, a template from the Oregon, what is it, the Oregon Firearms Federation, which is Mr. Starrett's? I just wanted to know, for the record, I think it's very clear that we need to know where this originated from. So you're saying it did not originate in any other way, that this was solely your thought and your words. You have to talk to Lane County to see where they got it. And really, does it matter where it came from? No. <laughs> I just, I think that, I think the point I'm trying to make is this. We have conflicted ways of looking at this because we interpret constitutional law differently. And I suspect tonight that we are going to see another resolution put forward. And that group, I think, will actually be very positive and naming themselves and saying, this is why we did this resolution. So for me, even though folks, I certainly respect your opinion that the origin doesn't matter, but I personally think that for the purpose of public record, the organizations that have differing opinions need to be identified because that's how we discuss things in Oregon and in the United States of America. So that's my point. I, I, I guess I'd like to know is if, if the Oregon Firearms Federation, if this is a template, and if anybody could answer that, I'd appreciate it. Mr. Schmidt, where did I get this ordinance? So I, I showed you a draft of what Lane County Commissioners were considering. It's a resolution. I think uh, it's resolution. The draft resolution was a document I received from staff at Lane County. I did not ask them where they obtained it from, but I got a copy from Lane County staff, which I provided to you as an example. I think if you'll notice on all the places that Mr. Schmidt mentioned where something similar has been passed throughout this great state is that they're all different. And so if there's a template out there, they're not doing a very good job in getting people to uh, rubber stamp it. Thank you. Thank you, Chair, for saying that. I, I understand the template, but I think I want to know, <clears throat> I think that there's been a conversation across the state. I think it's fair to know the organizations that help discuss these kinds of proposals. And I would like an answer to my question about to where this originated from. <laughs> Mr. Schmidt says he got it from Lane County staff. We won't know unless we stop this meeting and call Lane County and say, where did you get this? We need to know. How else would we find that out tonight, Commissioner? Well, I'm hopeful that some of the people that are going to testify in the audience tonight will identify what organization they're with and what template and where they have gotten this information. They didn't get this information. This came from me. From me. And I got it through Mr. Schmidt from Lane County. Mr. Smith agreed with it, and so it is in front of me. So Chair, Chair I do believe it comes from the Oregon Firearms Federation. I think that it's be part of the public. You can say that, but I'd make sure you were factual about it, Commissioner. Yes. And I don't think you are. Commissioner Smith. Thank you. <clears throat> 